In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a sentry tank, also known as a TIE crawler or TIE tank from the Star Wars universe. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more Star Wars tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a full playlist that you guys can check out after this video. Anyway, let's get into some building. Alright guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. So this one is 9 blocks long, it's 11 blocks wide because of the trapdoor that sticks out, otherwise it would be 9 blocks wide, and it is 5 blocks high, so different design, pretty cool though. So uh, materials you're going to need, polished andesite slab, stair, and also a block, you're going to need some grey stained glass, warp trapdoor, iron trapdoor, polished deep slate slab, and a polished deep slate block. Uh, we're also going to need a deep slate stair as well actually. Realise I hadn't had it on my list. How terrible is that? There we go. Want that down there before I destroy the grass. Right. So what we're going to do, guys? Uh, I'm going to be building this one in the grid. Um, it's up to you guys if you want to do the same or not. Um, but what we'll be doing first is actually just on the inside of this box here. This corner we need an upper deep slate slab. That's going to be our starting point. And then what we're going to do coming forwards from this is have an upside down deep slate stair. Then another stair on top of that one. And then we're going to have a lower slab coming up. So you can kind of see the pattern that's going on here. Now we're going to have five blocks of our polished deep slate. One, two, three, four, five. And the same underneath as well. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to have a slab on there, on the bottom, and also on the top. So it's just coming in together. And we're doing the opposite of what we did before. So we're going to have an upside down stair and then a normal stair. Now what we can do is we can fill up the bottom layer completely and what we'll have from the front is have two blocks of andesite and then a block of deep slate then we're going to have andesite again so that's what we end up with like that I'm going to do the other one of these treads so we're just going to go one two three four five six seven and then that's our next starting point so again if we start with that slab that'll give us a good starting point from there come forwards with our upside down deep slate stair from that normal deep slate stair there slab over the top of that and then five blocks of your deep slate one two three four five one two three four five then a slab here slab here then a normal stair and an upside down stair so deep slate uh, not deep slate andesite is going to be on your bottom layer here then we're going to have two blocks of andesite here then a deep slate block then just andesite and that gives us our treads. Now we need to put a trapdoor and stuff like that on it, but for the time being it'll get us started. So now where we've got that deep slate block, we're going to have two blocks coming to the towards the center. And those are our pylons. We're going to have a slab on the top and underneath of these ones. If you ever get vertical slabs, slab that up. <laughs> Maybe one day. I mean, we can get it from mods, but that's about it. Um, now from here we're going to go forwards, and we're going to have three blocks of our glass coming forwards from that. Put one on the top in the middle and one underneath it like that. Have an upside down polished andesite stair in the little gaps there and a normal one. So this is the standard tie cockpit that we always do. Right behind that glass block we're going to have a upper slab there. That's going to be our nice little standing sitting point kind of thing going on there. We're going to have an andesite stair here, upside down stair there, upside down stair there, normal stair there like that. On the back of this now we're going to have an upside down stair here upside down stair here, normal stair, normal stair. And with our andesite block, what we're going to do is have them in those little bits to join across. And normally we put on the twin ion engines and all that kind of fun stuff. Not this time. Instead what we're going to do is going to have a block right in the middle. We're then going to have a slab here, slab here, and slab here. And on this block down the bottom, we're going to have three slabs coming out. One, two, and three. There we go, that's what we get. With our deep slate slab over the top, we're just going to use that to fill up the little gap that we got. Then have an iron trapdoor around the top parts of it like that. On the front, all of the glass except for the middle is going to have a warped trapdoor on it. Now I'm going to put a iron trapdoor on the sides of these. And I'm going to use the debug stick to do that. Same with these ones as well. So we're going to knock those down with the debug stick. If you don't have the debug stick, you can either just leave it blank, 
or you can use another trapdoor like the warped trapdoor, especially on the cockpit, the warped, tra warped trapdoor will do fine. So to get the debug stick, you need to do give, then your name, and then debug stick. Now we want to cycle through until we find the open property, and then we need to knock that down to false or true or whichever one it is. Whichever one makes it go down, but you can then just toggle it, open and close. I'm surprised they didn't give the, this tool to us sooner, it's awesome. There we go, so that's that now. So we're going to grab some more materials now. We're going to need, yep, dark oak fence gate, we're going to need a lightning rod. We're going to need some buttons as well, some uh, blackstone buttons and an andesite wall. So the andesite wall just goes into this little gap that we've got here, on either of those sides. Blackstone button, or polished blackstone button, just put those on the back here, there's this kind of things going on. I'm not totally sure what they are, whether they're power cells or what. They would be underneath as well, but of course, can't put that onto the uh, that part of the slab, so that's a non-starter. And then if we go to the front here, we're going to have our fence gate in there like that, punch that one through. Lightning rod's going to come off the front of this. I wanted it to be that way round instead. So that then, guys, is what we get. It's a pretty simple little design, but it's kind of cool and um, a bit different as always. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.